Again, hello, my lovely Capricorn. <laughs> it's Tori, the whole dealer of guided intuitions, my love muffins, and I am here with your monthly spiritual message from Spirit, honey. This is what Spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, this is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of September. All right, my lovely Capricorns. <laughs> Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome my love muffins. Welcome my babies. So my love muffins, if you're new to my channel, okay, how I do my monthly spiritual message is that right up here is going to be what's crowning Capricorn in the month of September. Right over here to the left is all the information spirit have for Capricorn concerning love. <laughs> and then right here is what spirit wants Capricorn to know that can ultimately bring you guys more fulfillment in the month of September. And right here at the bottom are the words that spirit wants Capricorn to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of September, honey. And then what I started this, what I started last month is pulling something major and major energy or a major thing that's going to be happening in the month of September for Capricorn, okay? So... I set the intent that everyone that clicks on this video walks away with something, okay? Some some information that brings them clarity and understanding for them to go forth and achieve their goals, their dreams, and just be their awesome freaking selves, okay? However, my love muffs, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody, okay? Um, but don't worry, there are so many dope souls and individuals via social media that are sharing their gifts. You're bound to find someone that picks up on your energy, so just don't worry, okay? So don't worry, my lovelies. You're going to find someone that picks up on your energy. With that being said, um, Capricorn, we're going to get into it. Capricorn, Capricorn, one word is like I'm seeing vividly, like screaming at me is believe, believe Capricorn I need you to believe and whatever you're trying to achieve this month believe believe is your foundation believe in that love that you desire becoming a reality believe in your finances believe in your business thing that you're trying to pursue believe in your dreams I just need you to believe Capricorn believe Capricorn no matter what it is I just need you to believe okay in the month of September it's all about your belief system okay I feel like that's really ruling your um your um your root chakra your red chakra so definitely want to pack on the fruits and vegetables in the red category to help um heal and feed your root chakra and get in alignment all right so let's go ahead and look at this major energy that I'm feeling all right, so I feel too, okay? So this is what I'm feeling. You have the high, higher front, okay? And I feel like this is the key, key your, your keys to the wisdom. You have wisdom within you, the higher front. I feel like the high priestess is more of your inner, your, um, your intuition. And the higher front is definitely um, um, more so, it's all spirit, but on a... Um, I feel like you're definitely going to be coming in alignment and um, coming, unlocking the doors to spirituality. Ah, there we go, <laughs> Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you need to go there. You need to go spiritual for something. It doesn't matter what it is, love, yourself, or just, you know, to get in alignment with who you are and source. But I feel like something has been weighing, um, laying doormat, okay? You've been in a hangman's stagnation about something but i feel like you're definitely going to be getting the keys and the necessary wisdom and guidance you need to you know open the door unlock it open the door and walk through it okay um also that is definitely going to lead to your happiness but before we get there there's something that oh i'm so sorry i shook the camera there's definitely Something that you're going to be overcoming, okay, because we have the two of swords, okay, but however, this deals with a person or a limiting belief, whatever does not is not good for your higher self, however, it's reversed Capricorn. We have the reversal coupled with the um, seven of swords energy, it talks about sneaking around, so something, you're definitely receiving some fucking clarity off top. Um, definitely some wisdom and some guidance and some steps about something or someone that is definitely um, you've been stagnant in. There's no been no forward movement with the situation or this thing or this person. You're de it's definitely going to be brought to the light of some sort. 
but it's going to end on the four of wands energy talks about happy endings completions you know a new beginning your happy place however you desire this um situation or coming out it's going to be for your highest good okay also you're going to be moving forward Okay, you're going to be gaining um, hold of your emotions because you have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like when you truly gain control of your um, emotions, you're going to be moving forward. All right, you're not going to be looking on your fat past or reflecting on your past or trying to focus on your future, but present in the moment, moving forward in the now. Okay, you're definitely going to gain some some balance in your emotions. Okay, um, Capricorn. So as far as what is crowning my love and my friends. What's going to be crowning a lot of you in the month of September is being vulnerability. And I feel like with vulnerability you need in a relationship and um, with yourself, okay, and with, you know, whatever you're trying to do, your creative projects. A lot of entrepreneurs are Capricorns, okay. Um, just a forward movement is definitely going to require you to be vulnerable. So it's going to be crowning you in the month of September. You like putting your ideas out there. Um, you just really taking a chance on yourself, believing yourself, believing in whatever dreams and visions, no matter how or what they look like to anyone else. But you, Capricorn, just actually, actually believing in yourself and in your dreams. Um, also, we have fog. So it talks about veil. So I feel like something that was unclear going on in the month of September is going to be crowning you but you're going to be getting clarity like a motherfucker um Capricorn concerning this issue something that's been you know unclear like in the fog you really can't see it's too thick it's veiled it's going to become unclothed to you and you're going to see it for what it is okay um and it's going to bring about a completion I truly feel like Capricorn why are you going to be you're going to be doubting yourself doubting yourself doubting your dreams and I just have this word believe believe in yourself doubting the love just doubting everything but I honestly feel like Capricorn you're going to be ending this a completion and I truly feel like the completion is the way that you view yourself and the way that you doubt yourself because once you execute those things eliminate those things those limiting beliefs those outdated ways that you view yourself because you have changed dramatically capricorn um it's definitely going to help you um it's going to complete have a completion of those things are going to put you on a higher frequency okay also for some of you i um spirit is definitely saying just intuitively that you want to might be mindful of the things that you're putting in your body definitely want to change your diet around okay Start eating a lot more fruits and vegetables, exercising, getting out there and mingling with the things that, um, you know, are definitely um, passion, passion driven. Also, what's going to be crowning you, you have some something that you've been wanting to make a reality. Bring out of your energy, Capricorn, and make it a reality. I feel like September, you're definitely going to get started on those things, okay? Um, even if not completion, but you're going to have some forward movement in these things, okay? Because we have the um, the three of wands talks about moving forward on the now. So you're definitely going to be making some kind of wave and some kind of movement, some, some, some things. Also, what's crowning you is the world coupled with Gia is the world card and coupled with the immortal dragon. So like I told you, <clears throat> um, you're jumping dimensions in September, you're leveling up on a whole nother fucking level, Capricorn. <laughs> like, you are literally jumping dimensions. You are literally um, where it would have took somebody maybe six months to get over something. You're getting over something in one day. Six hours. That's how much growth and opportunity is available for you in Jupiter and Venus. Like, you have what would take an average person a year to do. You have the capability... Um, Capricorn to do it in a month and I know that might sound crazy but you have this energy around you the immortal dragon it can transfer through the now and the future so in in the spirit realm and what we see in our physical physical realm so you really have some power on you Sagittarius that's why I just keep saying believe I hear believe 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 in the impossible coming the possible for you all right in the month of September or honestly, whenever, it doesn't even matter. Um, it doesn't even matter, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with love for Capricorn, all right? 
For some of you, we have healing family issues, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you know how if you have been talking to somebody but it's not really been like you know it could be, it's just something's missing or something you were started messing with somebody but it kind of like fizzled or you went back to the, an ex but you realized that that's not really what you want to do. All right, um, there's some healing that you have to do. That spirit is, there's definitely love coming in. There's definitely love. But I feel like in the month of September, Capricorn, it's all about you. It's all about you healing, moving forward. With all this power and this energy you have, spirit wants you to level up and um, come on another frequency. Because the frequency that you're at, and I had, I had experiences too. When you're at a lower frequency, you're going to attract those kind of people. And that's not the kind of people that we want when it's come to love. Let's just be honest with it, okay? So I feel like you're definitely in a stage of loving yourself first, okay? Getting to know yourself, accepting yourself, and um, realizing your worth, Capricorn. And when you do that, that's when this true love is definitely going to come in for you. But right now, Spirit is just asking you to stay optimistic about your love life and calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you guys together do this these two right now while you're focused on loving yourself instead of focusing on a physical person right now because um <clears throat> we have the page of arrows however it was reversed so i feel like there's some re some things that are going to become clear to you in the month of um september concerning love that <clears throat> is going to help redo your foundation i remember i told you, you need to work on your root chakra your foundation is your root chakra. So I feel like with this love and tenderness and this care that you're going to be putting in yourself and your, and in your root chakra is definitely going to set the foundation clear. It's going to leave you more empowered and more aware of yourself and your worth and who you are and just really accept the beautiful being that you are, Capricorn. It's definitely going to help you do that. So I feel like what spirit is saying once you do that you're going to you're you're going to you're going to level up your vibration is going to rise and you're going to attract the ideal mate okay so what spirit wants capricorn to focus on in the month of september that can ultimately bring you more fulfillment capricorn is believe i told you believe look at this card this card is beautiful and i truly feel like this fits you capricorn believe honey believe in the impossible becoming the possible we have there's magic all around you capricorn open up to the wonders of the universe notice the connections and synchronicities follow your follow your feelings and believe with all your heart honey we successfully manifest our dreams when our feelings are in alignment with our plans from the sacred union the right ideas take shape the best relationships blossom and the stuff that's meant to be easy falls into place. Everything is possible. That's why spirit has really been placing it on your heart, um, Capricorn, to believe. Because what you feel and what you want is definitely a reality. But you have to believe. And it said you did it. You did it. <laughs> mm. It says Capricorn, hooray! Success is here or just around the corner. I told you, you've worked hard and your efforts are paying off. Congratulations. You Congratulate yourself and truly savor your fantastic victory. Just remember that success comes in cycles. So we can't be at the top of our game 24-7. We succeed, celebrate, rest, renew, and succeed again. Know where you are in this journey. You did it before and you'll do it again and again and again and again. Cor oh my God, Capricorn. I love you guys so much. And look at it. It's so funny that it's like a goat, like a ram. That's funny. Okay. Also, what we have for you is you can't please everyone, Capricorn. I truly feel like you guys are a gem. You guys stick out, all right? As you can see, like the horses and then there's a zebra. I feel like the zebra's you, you know? <laughs> Um, you have, when you're focused on living up to other standards, you aren't spending enough time raising your own. Some folks expect you to act a certain way and march to the beat of their boring drum. They find safety and sameness, but you have beautiful music inside you. Your flair is meant to be shared. Don't shrink to fit in or get approval. Instead, dump your need to please and just be your magnificent self, Capra. 
Capricorn. Be your magnificent self, Capricorn. All right, and the last thing that Spirit wants you to know that can ultimately bring you more fulfillment, Capricorn, in the month of September is to um, set boundaries. All right, set boundaries around yourself. All right, um, we have... Where do you need to establish better boundaries in your relationships and people and just the things with even within yourself, <clears throat> the things that you have for yourself, okay, is definitely you want to make sure that you're setting boundaries. And the words that spirit wants Capricorn to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of September and those times where you're faced with making decisions or just thinking about things, you have allow, okay, you have understanding, all right, and you have tenderness. So for me, what I'm saying is, ju is just to allow things to happen naturally, okay? Just let the tips fall where they may, if that makes any sense, <laughs> um, Capricorn. Because with, with doing that, there's going to become an uh, a understanding of a pattern or, or where you need to um, where you need to go next. With that, just allowing stuff to happen naturally is going to bring forth the understanding, okay? And remember to treat yourself with tenderness, okay? Love on yourself, Capricorn. You have been doing so much work, inner work, outer work, overwork. <laughs> um, definitely feed yourself some tenderness and some compassion, all right? Just as you give to everybody else. Don't come so hard on yourself. So I hope that September brings you so much magic, honey. Brings you the magic, all right? Allow it to flutter in and sprinkle all over you, Capricorn. I love you guys so much. I hope that this has brought you the clarity and the understanding that you seek. Go out and be great. Hug a tree for me and you. <laughs> All right. And I love you, my love muffins. And I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much peace. And I will catch you on my channel in one of my next videos. Take care, okay? Bye-bye.